Oh, hey there. Let's talk about what essential gear you'll need to get started as a content creator. And spoiler alert, you'll need more than just a camera. And definitely don't get this one. Whether you're an aspiring content creator, filmmaker, or maybe you're a small business owner who wants to do a full video production, this video is for you. I will give you a basic list of the gear you need to get started and give you a few tips along the way. Tips that I learned through the years working both in the commercial and the creative space. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in. The first and probably most obvious item you'll need is a camera. A dedicated camera for video is definitely something you'll need if you want to take your production to the next level. Look for a camera with high video capabilities, interchangeable lenses and manual controls. This will definitely make it easier for you to upgrade if you decide so in the future. Some popular choices include DSLRs, mirrorless cameras and camcorders from brands like Sony, Canon and Fujifilm. I'm currently shooting on a Sony a7 IV, but I believe when I started I used a Canon ES500D, which by no means was a good camera at the time, but it did the job. If you're going for something like this, don't forget to get an SD card. These little bad boys do cost a little bit, depending on what you're planning to shoot. High quality 4K videos usually requires an SD card with a higher data transfer. Once you have a camera, you also need a lens. A lot of cameras do come with a kit lens, which are great to start out with. But when you get more experience, I would definitely recommend upgrading to something more versatile. Something like a 24 to 70 mm or a prime lens like this one. A more versatile lens allows you to experiment more with focal length and also makes it easier to achieve better bokeh, which is that creamy out of focus background blur that you see in a lot of professional productions. Shaky camera footage is the easiest way to make your videos look unprofessional and that's why you'll need a tripod, especially for setups like this or any interview style. A tripod helps stabilizing your footage and also makes your lives much easier. Look for a tripod that have adjustable heights but also have a sturdy build. Basically, don't go and buy one of these basic ones from Amazon. This will only be a huge pain in your ass, trust me. Look for something that is better constructed and has a fluid head like this one. This will make it much easier to do panning and tilting. You can make any scene look great with killer lighting and a cheap camera. But if you have bad lighting, no fancy camera can fix that. Natural light is great, but when you're filming indoor or in low light environment, you'll definitely need some additional light. I would highly recommend investing in a basic LED light setup with a softbox. At the moment, my key light is a fairly affordable light from Godox. In the beginning, you'll be perfectly fine with just one of these, but as you get more experience, you might want to invest in more lights for more complex setups. Audio is often overlooked, but it's at least as important as the visuals. Try to invest in a good external microphone that can capture clear and high quality sound. Shotgun microphones are very good at capturing sound from a distance, and I don't mean one of these. This one will actually capture a clean audio recording from a distance, but keep in mind that you'll need a sound card like this one and a cable to connect it with. Alternatively, you can get one of these Zoom recorders. I've been using these for years now and they're great. Not only is it a mobile recording device that can run on batteries, but you can also use it as an audio interface or a sound card. If you're looking for a great mobile setup, I can definitely recommend one of these Wireless Go from Rode. These ones are super easy to use and you can literally just clip them on anything. They have a built-in microphone which sends the signal to this receiver. The microphone signal from the receiver can also be hooked up directly to the camera, which makes it much easier to sync up the sound afterwards. The great thing about this setup is you can easily upgrade it with a lavalier microphone like this one. This one makes it much easier to capture good sound and are great for interviews or if your subject is moving around a lot. Once you have your footage, you'll also need a video editing software to bring it all together. And there are many options out there, both free and paid. Popular choices include Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Start with a user-friendly software that suits your need and is easier to learn. Then as you progress, you can go on to the more advanced options and so on. I have personally used Premiere Pro for most of my work because it's super easy to learn, but at the same time, it does cost money. On the other hand, you have DaVinci Resolve, which offers everything you need as a beginner and even as an experienced filmmaker. I only started using it a few weeks ago, but it's already slowly starting to win me over. Best of all, it's free to use. Some more advanced features do require a one-time purchase though, but after that, you're set with a very powerful video editing platform. 
So there you have it. This is all the gear you'll need to get started and this will get you a very long way. To quickly summarize, you'll need a camera and an SD card, at least one camera lens and then you can always add more, a tripod to make your life easier, one LED light and I highly recommend also getting a softbox. Get a good audio setup, either the shotgun microphone with a sound card or get the compact wireless go with the lavalier microphone. Last but not least, get your hands on a video editing software that works for you. I'll put links to all the gear in this video in the description if you're interested. If you found this video helpful, please support me by hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future video ideas. Alright, that's it for me. Until next time.